uh, let's talk about uh, how to do a trading rule that uh, doesn't rely on day trading assumption uh, when you don't have day trading you have to keep track of a lot of stuff so it's much more complicated but on the other hand it's more realistic so here we have a very simple trading rule uh, that is uh, based on a trading signal uh, of 14 days RSI we said the buy signal will appear when uh, uh, RSI is less than 30 and the sell signal appeal is more than 50. And the trading rule again is very simple. Uh, uh, you buy 3,000 3, unit whenever there's a buy signal appears. Okay, buy additional 3,000 unit. Okay, and then if you have sell signal appear, then you sell everything out. Okay? And uh, initially you have a uh, hundred thousand dollars, and then do you note know that we need to keep track of cash stock right because of uh you keep buying three thousand and then you only sell when the sales signal disappear or at the end okay so that is the uh, rule so let's see so we have quantity of three thousand uh 14 days and signal of the first 15 days are empty because not available and price with closing price and the stock in cash initially you don't have any stock and cash is always hundred thousand dollars and now first thing we do is calculate the trading signal we said that the signal is equal to one is rsi is less than 30 and 30 50 is zero because you don't change um and then you don't buy and sell and then the cherry, uh, signal is negative one when it's more than 50. okay so that's rsi is the 15 day price and then for loop looping over from the 15 days to the end because there's a 15 days you have the thing uh the rsi then to the end so yeah, uh and then at the end you assign the timestamp to the signal once the trading signal then we apply the trading rule and once the trading rule we get the cash and the stock uh the trading rule is based on uh yesterday's signal and that's that's why you start from day plus two until the end and whenever trade signal is zero or positive which means that uh they either you still uh you, don't, you have not exit okay so that means your stock will depends on last time stock plus uh the quantity you're trading okay can be zero the trade i uh if there is the rsi is between 30 and 50 uh but if you're below 30 then you uh is one so you increase the stock holding by three thousand and the cash is reduced because uh are the same uh you're assuming the transaction all at the closing price here the cash will reduce because you buy um if otherwise you sell everything then you don't have any stock and the cash will be same as last time cash plus uh you're selling the stock uh of last time at the current closing okay this is how the stock and cash uh movement so then the next is to put back the uh, the timestamp on the cash and the stock and finally you want to develop performance you need to see how the uh, money move okay so with equity and the return okay and uh, uh equity is how the value of your portfolio and the return will be the uh, daily return of your portfolio so um start from day one or day two uh doesn't really matter actually from day two is better um and then until the and an equity is the value of the portfolio is how much you own and the price and plus how many cash you have and the return will be just a the rate of change equity right today's equity over yesterday one minus one and you put back the timestamp equity and return and that is the return is given to you um so let's see the code uh here um the code is same is you can see the copy from uh same thing here but so let's now run the you can see uh the return is not that bad right you can see it's uh, uh 150 percent okay although the uh drawdown is not small it's like 0 0.5 0 0.6 uh but otherwise uh the return is pretty good 
but uh, the drawdown is also not small. So let's see the other dimension because uh, we want to see how your money changes. So you can see from 10,000 at the end, you have a uh, sorry, 100,000. You have then now at the end, you have uh, uh, more like 250. Uh, thousand dollar okay, over the time and use a chuck series equity and call it the equity line and you can also look at the cash how the cash changes uh, cash is how the money changes over time and also see how the stock you buy over time okay so uh, here look at the coke here is how you do is it the equity line so this is how the portfolio value changes and uh, this is how the um, your cash holding changes. Okay. And uh, last one is how uh, the stock for time changes. Okay. So uh, here we cover the how you can do a more realistic uh, portfolio analysis. Uh, but again, here there's something uh, you can do it more realistic. We didn't do it. The budget constraint here uh, is the cash here, right? I uh, it doesn't happen, but uh, I should make sure that cash doesn't go negative, right? Keep buying, but you buy have a budget constraint. You cannot buy more than the money you have. Uh, there are also other things you can do. Maybe you add some transaction costs each time, uh, or your slipperage you know you know may not be able to buy at the closing price. Okay, there's a commission and there's a other thing you can work on uh, to make it more realistic. Uh, but so far, you can see the the structure is very clear. You can easily add uh, the things you want without uh, too much trouble. Okay, uh, I hope you can play around with that. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.